The Sarasota Opera Winter Festival kicks off February 7th with Tosca, the story of a famous diva. A look behind the scenes today recognizes the unsung heroes of such a powerful production. SNN's Suzanne Lee has more. Thank you so much. I have to say, one of those individuals behind the scenes responsible for getting the look just right in each of the upcoming four shows at the Sarasota Opera is Dawn Rivard. It was a pleasure to meet her. She's a Canadian-born hair and makeup artist who's been camped out in her workspace upstairs at the Opera House for weeks now, creating these wigs for the performers. And believe it or not, she's still smiling. There's no real action in the auditorium at the Sarasota Opera just yet. Upstairs in the wig room, though, it's a different story. I do about 14 hour days, about six days a week. And I have, on these shows, I will have at least seven people helping me. La vida. Dawn Rivard is responsible for at least 25 handmade wigs for the Sarasota Winter Opera's performance of Tosca, the story of a famous diva's jealousy which leads to tragedy. The, both of the Scarpia character wigs are both entirely handmade. She says even with planning, there's worry. Really until I got here, there's this unknown, am I prepared enough? Have I prepared the right things? For hair and makeup artist Rivard, that preparation includes 1800s era hairstyles and makeup, as well as 1800s mutton chop styles for men who may or may not have their own set. So even if we use their own hair, we're going to have to give them sideburn slash a mutton chop is a larger sideburn because a lot of the men grew their own facial hair, but we have to take that off because they're also in Figaro and Figaro has no facial hair. For now, the 14-hour days will continue for Rivard until Tosca opens February 7th. Then she'll focus on the marriage of Figaro, which opens February 14th. Wow. Yeah, it was a pleasure to meet her. It really was. Rivard told me that it's really funny traveling through airports when she's asked to open her bag, and especially if she knows that it's filled with human or synthetic hair. She says the reaction is really very funny. Yeah, I'm sure she gets a lot of questions there, too. When did she start working on the work for Tosca? She's actually been in Sarasota for several weeks now, mm -hmm. but the work really began at home in Canada during October. She says the research and the planning actually takes quite a bit of time to get it accurate for the time period, which is the 1800s. Wow, great story. Thanks, Suzanne.